Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For today I have two mini PCs that are very very similar. So I have the Billing AP34 and the Billing AP42. The only difference in between these two is the price because the AP34 is about $20, $30 cheaper and the CPUs that we have inside each mini PC. So the first mini PC, the Billing AP34, has the Intel N3450 CPU and of course the other one, the Billing AP42, has the Intel N4200 CPU. Since everything else about these two mini PCs is the same, I wanted to check and see if there is any difference in performance between the Intel N3450 and the Intel N4200. Even though this is not the most scientific testing out there, at least it's gonna give us a better idea about the day-to-day -day performance between these two CPUs. So I started with a couple of benchmark tests. The first benchmark test that I tried is called Passmark and here the mini PC that has the Intel N4200 scores somewhat higher but realistically not a very big difference. On the second benchmark test on the Geekbench 4 we get a higher multi-core score for the Intel N4200 however we get a higher score for the single core score on the other ones on the Intel N3450. So once again not a very big difference in between these two. Since I had both of them hooked up anyways and even though this doesn't have to do that much with the CPU I've also checked the speeds for the internal storage and of course the speeds that I got for both devices are kind of similar. So definitely not a huge difference for the benchmark results in between these two. But uh, how do they perform for day to day tasks? Well let's start with the YouTube video. I had the two mini PCs connected to the same Wi-Fi network and I had the same video opened on both of them at the maximum resolution which is basically 4K and I'm gonna let you guys watch and see how they do. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day and as you've seen, there was absolutely no difference in between the two and I had the exact same result if I had the video playing on the full screen. Next, I wanted to see how they would do if I would play a 4K file on both of them. So I used Kodi 17 um, to play that file and as you can probably see for yourself, there is absolutely no difference for that file um, either. So as you've seen, playback was identical on both of them for that 4K file. Next, I wanted to check out and see what would happen if I would actually play a game. So of course, I downloaded Asphalt Extreme from the Windows Store and the results that I got, well, they're identical. So you can't really tell which one is which. The last thing I wanted to try was something a bit more intensive, so I've selected the exact same video file and I encoded that in the same format and of course I wanted to see which one would finish faster. Well, the results here were a bit uh, different than I was expecting. So the mini PC with the Intel N3450 actually finished about 30 seconds sooner than the other one and that's something that I wasn't actually expecting. So there you have it, realistically there is almost no difference in between the N3450 and the N4200. So if you want to save yourself 30-40 bucks um, in between the two you could definitely buy the N3450 CPU and uh, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. So if you want to check out the full review of the Billing AP42 and it's basically the same review for the Billing AP34, well you can find the link in the video's description. Also, if you want to check out any of these products, I'm going to leave some links in the video's description. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.